Hi, I'm Patrick. And I'm Liv. And this is the mach -E vlog. We're not quitting YouTube, but we have some updates for you. So let's go. Sorry for the sort of dramatic intro, but it's been a crazy month for us, not in a great way. We've had some issues. Yeah, and so it's also been a great month. So about a month ago um, was when the next adapter came out. February 29th. February 29th. If you don't know, it is, wait, April 7th? <laughs> <laughs> what? Where is time? Uh, so like a little over a month ago, the Nax adapter came out and uh, we had the most incredible opportunities to create content. We had the opportunity to go to the Rivian R2 and surprise R3X launch and R3. And there was a ton of great stuff that we were doing on this channel and we were just cranking out content. I don't know if you guys even noticed, but like we were literally, we were releasing a video a day. We have full-time day jobs. I also write on the side, Patrick has side jobs. So like we were just cranking, but we were having the best time. And then <laughs> it, it was actually, yeah, it was March 11th. So it was like just a few days after the R3 launch. Um, I just, you know, we were getting ready to start our day job. I went to go get something out of my closet and I stepped on water uh, on the carpet in the bedroom. So uh, it's not ever a good thing. We, you know, we panic. We called the plumber. We, we have a home warranty because this is a new home purchase for us and it's just sort of a backup for us. We obviously have home insurance. So we followed all uh, the due process, whatever, called the home warranty, got the plumber out literally within an hour. Um, and then the plumber immediately was like, uh, we need to get mitigation. There's a lot of water. There's a lot of water. Um, and couldn't figure out where the leak was coming from. So we just stepped out of the way. I, you know, I work in IT and as I've said over the past month, like I try, uh, like I, I don't like when people get in my way when I'm troubleshooting IT stuff. So like when the plumber got here, I just like stepped out of the way and I'm like, I'll be in the office. I'll be doing my job. Let me know what you find. Um, and of course I was concerned and wanted to, to like, correct things as quickly as possible. We moved a bunch of our stuff out of the closet where the water was found. Um, and we thought, find the leak, fix the leak, and we'll dry things out and we'll be good. Right, and the plumber said, we need to call mitigation. I have I have a crew I recommend, should we do that? Uh, we said, yes, absolutely, do whatever you need to do right now. And it was literally like, Patrick discovered the leak because we work in Colorado hours, he works East Coast hours, so like 7 a.m. By noon, the mitigation crew was out there um, cutting into walls and stuff like that. So we were like, do what you need to do. We've been through this stuff. We've been homeowners for a while, for, for a very long time um, before. So we know if something happens, go through the process and take care of your home. Do what needs to be done. And if it's water, stop it immediately. Take care of it. Yeah, because I had like, as soon as I saw like there's water, I'm like, turn the water off, call a plumber, get them out here. Um, you know, and they found a leak. It wasn't, it was like on the complete opposite side of the house, basically, where the leak was. Uh, but it was in the wall. And, and we'll show you a little bit of it. We'll show you yeah. a little bit. Should we just do B-roll or we'll talk no, through it? No, we'll go take you through. Let's yeah. let's show you, uh, but I'll, I'll tell you a little bit, but it was like basically complete opposite end of the house, um, sort of of where we discovered the water. And I'm like, how in the world did the water get down here? But it was in the wall. So there was no way for us to know um, the way the house is oriented. It basically just went in the wall, down by, you know, between our, our bathtubs and then the, the walls the bathrooms between the bathrooms. Each other sort of thing. So it went down there and, um, you know, basically there's tile floor uh, encompassing the wall, except for like in the master bedroom where the carpet sat. So basically it looked for an escape. It found that escape and that's where it came out. Um, which, uh, the bad part is, is that means the water was going everywhere, trying to find a way out and everywhere it was trying to find a way out. It was making walls wet. So, um, Mitigation is like, we got to cut this wall. We got to cut that wall. We got to cut here. We got to cut there. <laughs> so it's been, uh, it's been a month and, uh, 
the mitigation immediately after they came out, they were like, there's water everywhere. We need to cut everything. Um, it's just definitely going to be covered. It's going to be $50,000. I'm just saying the number. That's I'll what they say. said. That's yeah. what they said. It's going to be $50,000, but your insurance will definitely cover it. We were like, oh, oh my God. Oh, okay. Okay. Just do what you have to do. You know, just, 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 just breathe through it. Um, and then the next couple of weeks were, us waiting for insurance to approve and mitigation trying to destroy the house more uh, to take care of it. Um, but us freaking out because if insurance didn't approve it, then we'd have to take care of it. Um, fast forward to now. Yeah. They, they have denied not it. not decided yeah. to cover it. Um, we have some they suck. debate about their opinion. So uh, we're looking at the next steps. If anybody's an insurance expert or um, uh, a, a, an adjuster expert or anything like that, please like drop us a comment. We may want to talk. Uh, we're going to fight it. We're going to try to yeah. appeal um, the insurance. Uh, they said the appeal process is to basically go to the person who uh, like made the opinion with new evidence. And I'm like, no, I just disagree with your opinion. I don't have new evidence. Um, but then the next step is to go to insurance commission. So I'm like, I don't know if we have to go that dramatic, but hey, if we have to, we have to. We're, I mean, um, we're suddenly gonna try. But the reason why we wanted to make this video, we don't want to just talk about our, our plumbing disaster. Uh, we do want to say like how it's going to relate. We'll, we'll show you in a minute, like some of the, the damage. Um, so it's like, it, me it means, you know, especially if we have to do a lot of this ourselves. Um, Which is what it, it is turning out. We're gonna probably have to handle a lot of the, the, the contracted stuff, um, but it's also gonna means, how to drywall. it's going to be a little <laughs> bit crazy. We may not be able to go do some of the trips that we were planning or, or whatever. You, yeah, it's changing our strapped. it's changing our schedule. It's changing our budget. Um, but we're we're going to try to stick in there. One of the things I have been talking about doing for a long time. We're getting ready to come up our one year anniversary of having solar in the house. Um, so in addition to doing my big solar update that I've been promising I'm going to do now, we're going to be at the one year point. It's uh, very appropriate. I've also talked about, um, some of the home automation stuff and my, you know, uh, initial goal was to show you like how you can do some smart energy stuff and some home automation things to save energy, make sure you're not like wait, you know, having lights on and running things when you're not supposed to supposed to be and just monitoring your energy usage, that type of thing. Now, like we're going to take it to a, like with an, another layer. Um, one of the things that we were doing prior to this is like we had water leak sensors throughout the house. Uh, Liv's going to go get one that saved us earlier this year because our dishwasher broke and spewed water out everywhere. But we learned about it within like 30 seconds because this water leak sensor from WISE, W-Y-Z-E, alerted me on my phone within like 30 seconds that there was a leak. Um, but we're going to be testing out some new ones and, uh, you know, we'll get into that in that video. This one is right here. And these are incredible to have super useful. We'd have one of these under each vanity, one under the dishwasher. Um, but now we are going next level and Patrick is just the nerd to do that. <laughs> yeah. There, there's some reasons why I want to sort of upgrade our, our water leak sensors and we're going to do, you know, go into some more stuff about that. Whether we make a YouTube video about all of that is sort of up to you. If you guys are interested in like how we're doing some of this stuff, um, I think it could be very interesting. Uh, the, uh, Akara has sent us some stuff to test out and we, we sort of told them like what happened or like, Hey, let's, let's see. Um, we think we have some solutions to help you prevent this from happening again. And I have some more ideas using home assistant and some other cool stuff, which home assistant can tie into the Mach-E because you can use uh, a Ford pass plugin to bring in some data into home assistant. So there, there, there's our... There's lots of tie-ins, but also uh, we, this has been a really horrible situation and we would really, really love to help you guys avoid this as, as much as possible. And there, like Patrick has literally been planning for the past month, like the whole system of how we are going to avoid this completely ever again, something like this. And we want to share that with you. So do let us know if you're interested in this. Uh, we, we really do want to share it with you anyways, because we think like stuff like this and then the next level that Patrick's doing, uh, it's just like, why not stop something like this happening the instant it happens and why not have some extra stuff? 
Well, yeah. It, so it's like, you know, I want to go back to my original intent of, you know, doing some home automation for some like smart energy management. I want to do some things for uh, a bit like security, meaning uh, letting you know, like if you left a garage door open, it'll, it'll like send you an alert, those type of things. Or if you have the sliding door closed and you have kids and you don't want them going into the backyard with the pool, that it'll send you an alert if the door opens, you know. Those type of things that are security, safety related, um, some helpful things like we have one when we uh, we have a little gate on our courtyard. So when uh, we come home and it's dark outside, if we open that gate, it turns on the courtyard lights as well as the entryway light. So that's like just convenience. That's I guess really that's nice. safety as well. Yeah. Um, our lights here, I just hit a button that says we're filming and we, we have blue and green lights behind us. <laughs> so, you know, there's some, there's going to be some fun stuff. Um, we'll, we'll try to relate it to the Maki, -E, um, or, and we may not get that nerdy. We may just do like an overview video and then maybe do a different channel with an yeah. in depth thing. You we guys let us know what you want to see and what you want to see here. Um, it's definitely stuff we're interested in covering. And, and if you're interested in it, then. I'll share but it with you. With the water leak stuff, like I like now it's like my mind has been going. The 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 thing with this one is like it basically was tied into the Wise app. Um if it detected a water leak, it would send me an alert on my phone. But then um, you know, it, it has some issues as in um what if we're not home? What if I'm asleep? Do I have it wake me up? You know. So uh the Arcara the stuff, um, they have some neat things, uh, and it just, you know. They're not the only one, but I, I, you know, did some research and this one is highly recommended. And my idea is like, I want it to like, if we have a water leak, every light in the house turns blue. Um, and there's some automations where you can cut off the, the main water valve. Um, so there's, there's some things, some automation. And then if someone like breaks in, it has to turn red. Yeah. Or scary. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can, yeah. you can do some things like that so that, um, just, just, I don't know, you can go really nerdy and I'm going to have fun doing that. But I also want to make it super bulletproof. We even talked about, um, like the other thing is, is like we had these like in the vanity that like nothing would have helped us because it was in the, in wall. the wall. So um, we're going to investigate some other leak sensors, but we're also going to like, can we put these in the wall and have like a little trap door so that we can, I don't know if that's Like a fake excessive. outlet cover or something. I don't think it's excessive because then the instant there's water in there, we know. And also, and I'm just going off what Patrick has been telling me about all this stuff, but like it keeps track, right? So if the insurance company is like, um, in, in certain cases, if it was happening often, then they can deny it. Uh, but if you can prove there was no water, no water, no water, water, and we turned off the system or whatever, it's like you have proof. That, that was the other thing is, is like the why is I, it doesn't let me keep a history. But with this, I can use uh, Home Assistant, for example, and like say like, yeah, we haven't had any water detected back there for uh, six years. And then it detected water and then um, we stopped it immediately. They, they do have batteries. Um, last about two years. So that's why I was like, we need a trap door so I can put it in there, yeah. take it out, test it every once in a while, make sure it works. Um, I think we could decorate the door so it's really cute, like a little mouse hole. We'll make it like it look like a mouse door. So. Yeah. Um, should we quickly just show you like Let's show a little you. bit of the damage? Let's show you a bit of the damage and also our IR cameras serve to be kind of interesting. Uh, so yeah. maybe we can show you the places. Patrick was wandering around the house with the IR camera and detecting moisture. So maybe we can show you some of the places and throw over some of those pictures. I'll try to remember. Well, the, yeah. the main ones will we'll show you yeah. that. Um, and I didn't know it had this capability, but if you saw um, our Electron NAX adapter or A to Z NAX adapter videos, um, I use them to detect the heat that is escaping from the adapter to see if there's any uh, noteworthy hot spots when we were charging. Well, when the mitigation company came here, they had like an IR camera and they were like aiming it at the walls. I was like, are you, is that detecting the water? And they're like, yeah, the water shows up as a different color because it's a different temperature. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> so I went and grabbed it. And I was like standing behind him, aiming at the and same actually, spots. Actually, I think he like accidentally sold sold the idea to one of the dudes. He was like, oh, I'm gonna get one." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because they well, they have their work one, 
um, that's you know probably like seven eight hundred dollars, and this one it's still expensive. It's like three fifty, uh, but he's like, yeah, that's cool. I could keep that with me, and uh, that's a lot easier to to have and to use and use it on the side. It's not their work one. I think for uh, sure we need to just like walk around the house. Like we haven't done it around the house recently. We should do it. Yeah, make yeah, sure. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyways, it, it's it was actually very cool, um, and I didn't realize this, but but yeah. So like if you have like water in your drywall. Um, it's going to have a slight temperature difference um, that you won't be able to just see, obviously, but the, the IR camera picked it up and it was really cool. Um, it was most distinctive, like where the the carpet was soaked with water, which, which so weird. it felt just slightly damp. But on the, the IR camera, you'll see it was a huge difference. So And it didn't look different at all. Yeah, the carpet yeah. didn't look different. It wasn't that bad. I barely noticed. But Shall we hop into the hallway? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Ta-da! This balloon tower is hiding a whole bunch of damage. This is actually a decoration that I got for EV Fest, which is next week. Um, I tested it out with some balloons that I had from the dollar store. These are $10 on Amazon. I think they're really fun. So behind this and the entire couch, it's all cut out. As you can see, like this wall is all cut out and there was moisture here. And we were both like, seriously, there's moisture there? But then Patrick showed the IR camera pointed at it and there was moisture. There was like a big, like stain looking thing. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it was it was slight over here, but yeah, this is uh, one of the bathtubs. This is the bathtub that's in the master uh, bedroom. That's not where the leak was at. Uh, you can sort of see back there, there's a another bathtub. That's like in the guest bath bathroom. And the leak was in that area, we'll just say. Um, but yeah, apparently the water, who knows? I don't know exactly how it got down. And I'll see we if don't I can show get you. how it spread as far as it did, but we're not plumbers. It but. went it went way down there. You can sort of see that bright light at the end. That's the uh the bedroom. So that's where it went down and escaped out there. Uh we'll just show you just And all of our possessions are behind us right now. <laughs> so we'll hide a little bit of that. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so there's uh, damage in that bath bathroom. That's where the leak was at. Um, and then here was the this master was bedroom. bedroom. <laughs> it's uh, it's really really weird. We both uh, okay. So here's where we discovered the leak. This is uh, wow. There's a sensor over there. Patrick came over here and it was like squish squish. And I actually, I'm an amputee, as you can see, I crawl to the bathroom at night. So like I literally crawl past here at night and didn't feel anything. So it must've appeared suddenly, but um, yeah. So they ripped out literally everything and we thought that they were gonna be able to just cut out the chunk of carpet that was wet. And then one day we came out of our office and this was all gone. And let me position, cause like, <laughs> I wanna like show you here, cause that's where I'm gonna pop up now the IR camera that shows where the, where it was wet over here, um, which was very, very distinct. Um, and then of course there was like some various wet spots elsewhere that we could sort of see, but, um, and you know, they ripped out basically everything in this bathroom um, the toilet's out. So the, the, that shower is technically now, I mean, the showers are technically usable. The other uh, toilet's technically usable, but we had to move into our guest bedroom, move every possession out of here. It's And there's big. only two things that we did to this house when we got it. One thing was replace the carpet because I crawl in it. And the other was put in a new vanity. And those are the two things that they completely ripped out. So it's like, Super frustrating. Oh, yeah. Um, and since it's not covered, we have to get all the same things again. But now there's an opportunity. The walls are open. So Patrick can go pop one of those sensors right in there, right? So we're debating where we're going to put sensors. But I, it, it might be like uh, down here at the end of the, the bathtub in case the, the drain ever leaks again. And sort of we know that's where the water wants to go. So I could put like a like this is in the closet. So right down here, I could literally put like a little hole in the back of the closet, cover it up with like a, a fake door or something like that, and then have a water sensor back there that would immediately let me know if it discovered a problem. But then of course, on the other side where the actual plumbing is, I might want to put one there just um, because that's where all the plumbing is and that's where we may have issues. Uh, we, we're going to have some other plumbing work done, which is going to be expensive. But uh, now that the walls are open, it's like it's our opportunity to fix some of the issues. 
Yeah. It's not necessarily uh, anything that's leaking, but it's like, yeah, there's a lot of joints back here and things that have been done over time. Let's clean it up. So they're going to repipe the house and they have Maybe. to, yeah, uh, probably, yeah. But so they're going to cut a lot more drywall. So we are probably like, obviously we have to pay for the piping, but we're probably going to try to do a lot of it ourselves or maybe get someone to drywall and then we'll do the paint stuff or Patrick found some cool things that we can just hang over it. So if you guys are good at any of that stuff and you have tips, let us know too. That would be helpful. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the kitchen. So we're not quitting YouTube. Like Patrick said, that was a dramatic title, a dramatic start, but really it's just that um, we felt like we were on a good roll and our attention has been derailed a bit and is going to be elsewhere. We're still here. We're still dedicated to EV, EV lifestyle, to our Maki and to creating this content and to the community that we have built with you guys and that you guys have built with us. It's, it's truly special and... Um, we didn't want to say anything about this for a month because we were fighting with insurance and everything. Um, but still, uh, we're trying to reside in gratitude and that we're healthy, we're happy, and we're truly grateful to have you guys here. So even though we've had this to deal with, um, there, there's so many great things and it, it's, it's a, um, great place to be in really. To yeah. And I mean, basically we're just sort of, we, we felt like we were doing, uh, we, I think we did 24 videos in 29 days or something like that. So um, we can't keep that pace up. Uh, we were doing one video a week, which now Before feels that. very slow. Um, and now we're back to doing like one video a week and we're sort of struggling to even get that done. And um, part of it is, is like, we've just been busy. And the other part of it is, is like, it takes a lot sometimes to be like, yay, let's Emotionally, yeah. be excited and, and <laughs> film something, this new charging experience when you're like, oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> Imploding on the inside. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's been just a rough time, but we're, um, we, we just uh, released a video today, right? And we got another one coming out tomorrow. So yes. this one will be like a couple of days from now. So we're, we're yeah. getting back into the flow. It feels really good to make the videos. It feels really good when you guys comment. So please make comments. Uh, somebody uh, actually yeah. messaged on Facebook Messenger today. It was like, I can't believe you responded. I was like, oh. we love responding to people. Yeah. We love the, the community. We love hearing from you. Um, we love hearing when people are like, hey, I just got my Maki and I have this question. And also, I would like to know what Maki, what term, and what his name is. Yeah. Like, so it's, it's <laughs> like we, we, I mean, that's really um, like why we like doing this is because we get to make these connections. So we're really yeah. excited about that. And, um, you know, I've said it previously in this video, but let us know, like, um, is it okay to deviate and do some of this smart home stuff? Should I just keep it to like an overview video and then do some really nerdy stuff separately? Um, should I just leave the nerdy stuff to some other channel? Because there's a lot of stuff out there that I've been watching. <laughs> Should the nerdy stuff be on YouTube memberships? So it could be like a member video or... Or we... Patreon so we do have video. other channels. We do. Um, <laughs> it's, it's not like Kyle with Out of Spec where it's Out of Spec this and Out of Spec that. We have one that was sort of our old channel that was Zillology. We'll put a link it's to a it mouthful, down below. But it's the science of living with zeal. Okay. Uh, so that was a fun channel that we just sort of had, but never went anywhere. Uh, I actually was going to do techie vlogs. So I was going to do tech stuff on that separately. Um, of course, we have EV Explored that's was going to be our generic EV channel. I have a makeup YouTube channel, so we could put makeup on Patrick. No. <laughs> um, by the way, we, we actually, uh, we, we haven't really asked for input on this, but um, we've been sort of struggling because uh, if, if you made it this far, you're, you obviously know us. So we're going to ask your opinion right now. Uh, we have Maki Vlog. We are going to keep our Maki, so don't worry about that. Uh, but we thought about doing a name change um, and a lot of people are like, don't do a name change, you'll kill the channel. And the only reason we'd want to do a name change is um, it can hurt us. Like when we specifically, we'll just say the, the Hyundai Ionic 5, we asked if we could um, borrow one from Hyundai to do a review on it. And they were like, I would love to give you one. I like you guys. I like your energy. But there's absolutely no way my boss is going to approve letting 
Mach E vlog reviewed the Hyundai Ionic 5. But that was like a couple of years ago. So maybe things have changed. We're really like all over the place with this stuff um, because the reason we feel um, that we might not want the name Mach E vlog is just simply that we are for all EVs. We love our Mach E, we love being Mach E vlog. And you guys know that it doesn't mean that um, we're not also Ionic vlog and um, whatever other cool EV, Rivian the bolt. vlog or, you like the bolt. or bolt. Yeah. Um, yeah so, like you guys know that, but maybe other people don't. And, and we've, we've thought about, uh, keep it mock vlog, but really put some effort into EV Explorer, but that could be hard just because of the time limits that we have. And maybe we could have, we thought more. about, um, just calling ourselves Patrick and Liv mock owners or something like that. Or Liv and Patrick. Or Liv and Patrick, whatever. Uh, or do... Uh, make Zillology Patrick and Liv channel. So <laughs> this is definitely the like rambling portion of the video. So if you're still watching, then um, could you drop a star in the comments? Because like, aren't those really fun and gratifying? Like the gold star you got when you were a kid. It's just lovely. And most people don't want to do with emojis. If you do, then please do leave a okay, star. Okay, we're going too Just long. to like prove Patrick wrong. And um, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm also hungry. Um, so. so ultimately, we really wanted to share this with you guys because uh, it, it it was a big deal, and uh, we felt the the impact of it in what content we were creating for you, and we wanted to share it with you guys as the community and and this experience. So I'm glad we could finally do it. Um, traumatic. It oh, it's gonna get better from here. Yes, it's gonna cross your fingers. Oh no, he's gonna do it. Yes, he's doing it, which means uh, it's hard to turn off. Can you hear that? He said it to barking so that if it detects water, oh, no. this is a little car thing. If it detects water, then it starts barking. Um, but although it wasn't that long, last time we tried to turn it off, it was very long, but it means that it's time to go. So thank you so much for watching this video in which we were very dramatic about things. Um, and we are not quitting YouTube, right? <laughs> yeah. Huge thank you to our patrons for supporting us. Uh, over on Patreon, you too can be a patron. Two, four, six dollars. I just watched one of Patrick's videos and he always Whisper, says that. So engaged, unbridled. <laughs> or you can be a YouTube member. Um, That's, you don't even have to leave YouTube. Yeah, you do it right here and you get things like, ooh, custom emoji. So please, 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 if you're a YouTube member, please leave your favorite custom emoji and ask for another custom emoji if there's something that you want to see because we get to make them and give them to you. So we can make anything. Can we make stars? They're already stars. They like, already have stars. I don't know why I'm hyper. Don't be so boring. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank I'm you hungry. so much. And just remember that whatever you drive, that doesn't sound right for this no, video. Um, Wherever, wherever you, you live, live <laughs> whether uh, it has a water leak or not, or not, um, hopefully you're happy, healthy, and dry. safe, and uh, around your loved ones and dry, dry, and enjoy the ride around the earth, around the earth, and it's Earth Month. Okay, that's Bye. just really bad. It's just, it's just I'm bad. gonna hit stop. <laughs>